This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I'm going to narrate from the Thunderbolts Project, Picture of the Day, titled Theories on the Rocks, in a Flash, Part 1, posted February 28th, 2013. The picture is entitled, Thunderstones in the form of prehistoric flint arrowheads, silver mounted as amulets to protect from lightning. Italy, date unknown, courtesy Pitt Rivers Museum, Oxford, United Kingdom. February 28th, 2013. The Thunderstone is familiar from the folklore of virtually every culture, but plays no role in the serious sciences. In the eyes of most, the proposition that thunderbolts deposit rocks is an asinine artifact of superstitious belief, an antiquated theme that epitomizes an infant stage in the intellectual evolution of the human mammal. But has this neglect of common folk traditions hit rock bottom with such swift dismissal? The conviction that no stones come down in the lightning hails from the same period when scientists prescribed the fall of meteorites, the 18th century, when Aristotle's fiction of an immutable and unpolluted sky still commanded sufficient clout to veto the descent of any rocks from the heavens at all. As meteorites have long since gained recognition, the thunderstone deserves renewed attention too. Upon inspection, the thunderstone appears to be a mixed bag as no less than five categories of objects have been thus labeled in traditional societies. These are the following, each illustrated with a smattering of examples. Number one, ordinary stones, especially pebbles. Peasants in southern and central Italy used to class globular stones and especially all black stones as thunderstones. The Chukchi, northeastern Siberia, viewed obsidian as the stone of the thunder which falls from the sky in round balls and Inca diviners treasured pebbles which the thunder gave to them. 2. Fossils. For centuries, locals of the Suwalik Hills, northern India, have collected fossil bones which they dubbed Bijli Ki Har, lightning bones. Specifying a mythological context, some Sioux, the Dakotas, imagined that the large boulders on the northern prairies were the spent ballistics of the water monsters, hurled up at the thunderbirds, who struck back with lightning. What they dubbed Kangi Tame, bolts of lightning which have turned into black stones shaped like spear points, may really be pointed belemnite fossils. Order Belemnitida. And in parts of Denmark and southern England, fossil sea urchins, class Echinoida, passed as thunderstones. 3. Meteorites. A meteorite presented to the Chinese emperor in 660 CE was called the Stone Axe of the Thunder God, and whenever a meteorite was found, the contemporary Maya at Valladolid, Yucatan, Mexico, would recognize it as the arrow points of the Yum Sakab, the storm gods who announced their coming in the thunder and lashed their horses with the lightning. 4. Tektites The early Chinese were wont to connect tektites to sudden rainstorms and thunder. Among the Cantonese on the island of Hinan, star excrements was a term that referred to tektites, while other Indo-Malaysian tektites have been called thunder dung. In all of these cases, the tektites belong to the Australian type. 5. Prehistoric implements. Before the birth of archaeology, almost every human society would explain prehistoric tools discovered in the ground as thunderstones. In Italy, flint arrowheads were believed to sink with the lightning seven palmi, i.e. nearly seven feet into the earth. In Myanmar and Indonesia alike, the association of stone implements with the thunder is widespread. The Yoruba, Nigeria, asserted that Shengo, the god of thunder, hurls thunderstones to earth. His thunderbolt, Eden Ara, are prehistoric stone celts which farmers sometimes find while hoeing their fields. Here, as well as in Togo and Benin, flint implements of the Stone Age are believed to be thunderbolts. After a building has been struck by lightning, the priests of Kibioso almost invariably produce a flint arrowhead or axe, which they of course bring with them, but pretend to have found in or near the building. For the Ashanti, Ghana, primitive stone axes were thunderbolts known as God's axes. The Cheyenne, North American Plains, occasionally found one of the old stone arrow points, which some people think is the head of the Thunderbird's arrow. And the Tiwa in Arizona similarly professed that cloud arrow points fall where lightning strikes or are thrown away by the clouds. 
This typology of thunderstones may serve as a bedrock enabling a judicious discussion of theories to explain the origin of the incendiary idea that the lightning yields rocks. As the term thunderstone was applied to such a diversity of objects, a variety of rationales may have conspired to produce the single notion. These will be explored next. This was written by Renz van der Sluis. For more information, please visit thunderbolts.info.